Here we go to Castle Main Rod Shop and we're talking Willwood brakes. Something I've got on all my cars and something I reckon everyone should have. My favourite too, bang for buck brakes. Why the pill skim on them, I don't know. When you do the big engine conversion, definitely look into brakes. Your single piston standard holding calibers, sometimes don't just cut it. Obviously an American company, and they cater for the American muscle car. But thanks to Castlemaine Rod Shop, they also cater for the Australian muscle car as well. Certainly do. We've worked very, very, very hard with uh, Willwood over the years. I'll show you a couple of little things we've designed with Willwood. So Commodore stud pattern only in Australia. No such thing as in America. If you look at the back of this hub here, you'll see there's a little dimple. So one's HQ, one's Commodore. Very hard to identify from that side because they're so, so close. Legally, you can't put Commodore wheels on a HQ pattern. Mm -hmm. So we went to the effort, got a custom hub made. Well, it's good to see an Australian company like yourselves working with such a, a big company in America, Willwood, such an iconic brand. But it's not just a universal kit they bring out and you try and adapt to your car. It's specific for a Holden, a Ford, a Chrysler, whatever an Australian muscle car may be, it's made specifically for that model. It is. So we've got, uh, like you just started, Australian model vehicles, but we've also got European, USA markets. So people change their brakes, they obviously want to put the biggest disc they can possible. Uh, what disc size have we got? So we've got the 280, the 320 and the 355, or back in the old terms, 11 inch, 12 inch or 14 inch. And one thing I didn't know, the 280 fits with the 14-inch rim. Certainly does. It's pretty cool. You can get those steel-looking ones, knock the hubcaps on, but you've still got a four-piston caliper. Mm -hmm. The best thing about the Woolwood stuff, all ADR compliant, runs a dust-booted seal around the piston. So going engineer, be a breeze. Yeah, there's a four-piston caliper, but there is an upgrade as well to that. There's this little beauty here. Three years in development with Willwood. If you look in close, you will see there's a dust ring around there. So if you do decide to go for the big, big wheels, get the big brake, full ADR compliant, job's done. Mark, we're on a HJ, we've got the Woodward brakes on a standard stub axle. Yeah, we have dedicated our kit to bolt onto the factory stub axle. So it's strip your old brakes, bare stub axle sitting there, obviously leave your up and lower control arm, and our kit is dedicated to go completely on there from start to finish, from dust seals, bearings, hub, hat, caliper, the whole works. So obviously direct bolt up, which is really important. How long, roughly, put these on? Uh, I would allow your average mechanic a couple of hours. I mean, there's no angle grinder, there's no oxy needed. It's a spanner off, spanner on job. And brake lines, that's another issue, isn't it? They are, we yep. do have them on the shelf. They're ADR approved and it's very important if you are gonna make your own brake lines, stick to the ADR approved ones. So you bolt these on, put the brake lines on, breathe the brakes, away you go. All done, simple as that. Well, we all know how good Willwood is. I've got them on all my cars and I recommend you put them on yours. So make sure you go to rodshop.com.au and get yours today. Thank you.